There are a lot of things we say goodbye to as the seasons change. One of those is our hummingbirds. Back in the spring, we celebrated the return of our ruby throated hummingbirds. These birds stayed with us until about June. Then they started their journey south. Eventually, they'll make it all the way to Mexico. Right now, though, they are in Texas. Lexi Green from our sister station has the details on their latest stop. Hummingbirds might be small, but they've got big personalities, and it seems like they're taking over. We are in the fall migration season for hummingbirds. Hummingbirds from all across North America uh, funnel themselves down. According to Dr. Michael Walmack, executive director for the Botanical Gardens, the hummers use flight paths like California, Florida, even the coastal bend as they make their way south for the winter but they're just stopping by. They stop in the coastal bend for several weeks so that they can fatten themselves off before they make the long trek over the Gulf of Mexico and to the Yucatan where many of them overwinter. And if you wanna help them with that mission, all you need is four cups of water to one cup of sugar. The other thing is if you have feeders, make sure you clean those every day or every other day as hot as it is you can get bacteria and fungus growing on them and that can harm the birds we caught up with an island resident who says she keeps three feeders out at a time and it has become a hit for the nectar seekers who can be territorial we enjoy it as soon as i saw the first one buzz by looking for my feeders i was out there and had them all full and ready for them Womack says these amazing birds can travel across the Gulf of Mexico in just 24 hours, thanks to the help of flying high into the trade winds. He said each year is different, but they typically hang out until the first week of October and return once again in the spring. Seeing them come back is exciting because it's something to watch. They're actually quite amusing to watch. According to Womack, they are attracted to red and orange, so if you find a hummingbird putting its nose where it doesn't belong, you can try and lure them out that way. Lexis Green, 3 News.